I love swimming, but if there's one thing that drives me nuts, it's doing the same thing over and over again. Now swimming can be monotonous. It can be boring. I mean, think about it. You're swimming back and forth, looking at a black line on the bottom of the pool. I mean, swimming isn't that boring, right? It's probably better than watching paint dry. Then again, I've never sat around and watched paint dry. But if you're looking for how to spice up your workout, here are five ways that you can do just that. Have you ever seen someone just swim back and forth for 30 minutes or 60 minutes straight? Maybe that's you. And if it is, totally okay. But if you wanna really spice up your workout, you need to throw in some variation in your distance. Now, if you're not used to following a structured workout, all that means is doing sets and intervals instead of swimming continuously. It's not only gonna make the workout more interesting, but it's actually going to benefit your swimming development. You're going to be faster. You're gonna enjoy the workout more and you're gonna be able to swim at a higher rate of speed because you're breaking it up. So the next time you go swimming, if you are swimming 1500 meters continuously, think about how you can break it up. That's actually why we developed the My Swim Pro app so that way you don't even have to think about that. The app automatically develops a personalized training program just for you. So if you think, well, you know what, coach, I'm already doing that. I already follow a structured workout. Well, you know what? Even within a structured workout, there are different ways that you can add variation to that workout beyond just doing 50s versus 100s and 200s. One of those ways is by varying your strokes. And of course, there's effort variation. So even if you have a set that says five 100s freestyle, or 1050s freestyle, you can actually mix it up further by swimming different strokes. So for example, if you have 1050s freestyle, you might wanna alternate freestyle and backstroke, or you go 250s freestyle, 150 backstroke. If you're not swimming any structured workouts and you're just swimming continuously and you wanna keep swimming continuously, throw in a little bit more variation where you go four lengths freestyle, one length backstroke four lengths freestyle, one length breaststroke, for example. Another way that you can make it more interesting is you just add in different effort levels, different intensities. So instead of swimming at the same speed all the time, la la la, you can do every other fast or every other easy or moderate. As you can tell, there's a lot of different ways that you can add variation. And so that way you have in your mind something to look forward to so you can continue to make the workout interesting and push yourself so you get the most out of your time in the water. Equipment, equipment is one of the best ways to spice up your workout. Hopefully you have a great equipment bag with a ton of tools in there. This is one of my favorite ways to keep things interesting but also give you great muscular engagement. Right now we got the squad in the pool. As you can see, all of their equipment lined up here. And you can see a whole range of things from fins to paddles, and here's, here's a snorkel right here. I'm gonna show you what's in my equipment bag and then reference a few different ways you can use this to really make the workout a little bit more interesting. So if you notice right here, I have multiple kinds of paddles in my equipment bag. I have three different sizes and shapes of paddles. This is really gonna help spice up your workout. In addition to paddles, I have a snorkel and sometimes I'll actually use different pieces of equipment together because that's a lot more interesting. You get more muscular engagement. If you swim, for example, with the snorkel and paddles, you can really work on your catch and your technique. You can also do drills. You don't have to worry about breathing. I also have some fins and these, you notice fins are probably one of the most common pieces of equipment you're gonna see at the pool. And these are great because they're not only gonna make you swim faster, they help you with your technique. It's gonna give you a little bit higher body position. You can also work on different drills and that's fantastic if you're trying to spice up your workout. Highly recommended pieces of equipment and that's just an amazing way to make your workout more engaging, more simulating and swim faster. If you're really serious about improving your technique and learning how to swim faster, then you need to use data to level up. I gave the EO Swim Better a try and was blown away by not only how accurate the data capture was, but also how detailed the analytics were in the web application. You just slide them on your hands and swim one length of the pool with your normal swimming technique. Then in the EO Swim platform, you can accurately quantify your technique right there on the pool deck. You can measure the applied force of your hands in up to six different directions. Now I found this most helpful in seeing what's happening both above and below the water with my stroke technique, seeing the imbalances between sides, and most importantly, understanding at what points I'm generating the most power and force in my stroke. It's available with either a 90 or 15 minute recording capacity. So it's an EO swim better for individual swimmers, squads, and teams. Now you can record all of the strokes and sync up footage to see the force meter in real time with your stroke 
and I think that's pretty cool. So if you're ready to level up your swimming, head over to the link in the description and use my exclusive discount code to get your own EO Swim Better. Coach Leo, how important do you think it is to swim with other people so you don't get bored? I think it is one of the most important aspects to actually get in faster. Especially if you have someone who is faster than you, you can really push them or get them to push you in training. Swimming with friends is one of the most important aspects to swimming. Like you mentioned, not getting bored, keeping it fun because swimming is one of those sports where you do for most of the time just look at a black line. Mm -hmm. So having someone next to you, having a friend, having a buddy there makes all the difference in the world. We just had a session going on, loads of abilities, loads of different ages and swimming in a group, again, you have a different range of abilities. People are looking up to others, swimming faster and having fun, which is the most important aspect to swimming and improving. Mm -hmm. And even if you're not doing the same workout as the person in the lane next to you, just having someone nearby helps a lot. If you have someone there, pushing you on, holding you accountable to what you should be doing, it will definitely, definitely help you. And if you guys are looking for an opportunity to swim with other people, that's what we do here at these training camps. Right now we're in Greece and we're putting the swimmers through a ton of amazing workouts, but it's the camaraderie that people are really benefiting from. Yes, we're gonna talk about technique, we're gonna help them improve their strokes and push them, but really at the end of the day, it's about having fun, enjoying the journey, and enjoying the process of swimming with other people. You'll actually find that many people join swimming communities, triathlons and stuff like this just because they like being part of a community. People mm. like being in a place where they're pushed, where they're held mm. accountable, and that's kind of the best way to get better at swimming. You're gonna hate me for telling you this, but if you really wanna make things interesting and improve your swimming, focus on something you're not good at. So if you're not good at swimming butterfly, focus on butterfly. It's not gonna be boring, it's gonna be interesting on the contrary because you're not good at it. And you have to really apply a lot of mental energy and it gives you something to focus on. For me, I always used to be terrible at backstroke. I'm still not good at backstroke, but when I changed my mindset from trying to like push away backstroke and just ignoring it and just not even trying to swim it, it actually made my workouts more interesting when I started to pay more attention to it and I started to work on it and I started to enjoy the process of actually getting better at that specific thing. If you're not good at distance swimming and you wanna break things up and just swim 25 or 50 at a time, now's your opportunity to really push yourself and swim a little bit longer. If you're on the flip side and you don't like doing shorter stuff, now's your chance to focus on doing 25s and 50s or 75s, whatever the thing is that you're not comfortable doing. Push yourself out of your comfort zone. It's gonna make the workout that much more interesting and it's gonna strengthen your mindset, which is one of the most important things that you have as a swimmer. Now you already have probably a strong mindset if you're used to swimming in a pool, staring at that black line that doesn't go anywhere. But if you wanna take it up one more level, really focusing on things that you're not very good at, it's gonna help you excel that much further in the sport, keep you motivated and not getting bored. Travel the world. That's my favorite way to keep things interesting. Right now I'm in Greece. We had a swim workout with the camp. It's an amazing experience. And for me personally, when I get out of my comfort zone and I just go somewhere else, change of scenery, whether it's a new pool, a new location, a new gym routine, or you travel, you get an airplane and you literally fly halfway around the world. This is one of my favorite things to do to really keep me engaged with the sport. This is literally only the third time I ever swam in this pool and every lap is a new experience. So if you mix up your scenery, if you're changing it up and you see different people at the pool, literally it's a different group. You got the French team, we got a bunch of kids watching me film this video right now. So having a new environment is amazing and that really keeps you engaged and that's what you need to spice it up. If you really wanna spice things up and hold yourself accountable, you need to find an event or a challenge, something to put on your calendar to keep you motivated, to keep you focused and help you move in the direction that you wanna go. So whether that's actually signing up for a specific event like a triathlon or an open water swim or anything like that, you can also find different challenges. You can be a part of the My Swim Pro global community. You can also do test sets in the My Swim Pro app. For example, when you do a test set and the app will actually recommend what to do, when to do it, you might do a need for speed race test set. And what that means is to go 100 meters or 100 yards as fast as you can. And that'll give you a benchmark to see where you're at. You also have a different kind of test set called the Endurance Challenge. The Endurance Challenge is five 100s freestyle threshold. And when you do these types of sets on some kind of a cadence, you have something to look forward to. And if you don't have anything on your calendar, then you don't really know how to hold yourself accountable. 
So really one of the best things that you can do to keep yourself motivated so you don't get bored swimming is having that goal on the calendar, having something to push yourself towards because that is what separates the good swimmers from the great swimmers. The swimmers who are tired of watching paint dry and the swimmers who are motivated to go to the pool every day or however often you swim. If you want to find out how to swim perfect freestyle, I want you to watch this video right over here. I'll see you over there and happy swimming.